What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I finally had some time to decompress after the amazing segment at the end of the Royal Rumble last night. Um, some are pretty much saying this is one of the best segments, one of the best endings to a pay per view that WWE has ever produced. And I'm I'm one of those people that is in, in agreement with that. Now that I've actually had time to really think what's going on and with some new updates that, that have been going on with Jay Uso and Cody Rhodes, I think a lot of us can agree what we watched last night was long term booking, great storytelling at its finest. And the fact that now, without a doubt, and I think a lot of us were, you know, in agreement with this. Sami Zayn, before this segment, was the most over person in WWE. After this segment, he is even more over. And it is beautiful to see. And we're right around uh, the corner for WrestleMania. I think it's time that Triple H and the creative team, I think it's time for them to pull the trigger and call an audible here now granted this audible is going to require a lot of different factors a lot of key things to happen and i'm not sure how they're going to play this out but in my opinion you call this audible i don't see anyone else being a suitable uh challenger outside of cody than Sami Zayn going for the universal championship now I want to pull up something on Twitter before we get into this topic because I've been thinking about this all day and pull this up on Twitter. Someone sent this to me. Shout out to A. Uh, Vincent. This was on uh, Jay's uh, Instagram. Posted a picture. He said, I'm out with the blood, uh, blood drop emoji. Seems like Jay Uso saying, I'm done with the bloodline. And then this was the really interesting image that he posted. Run it back. Oosie Juicy. I'm going to be honest with you, man. These, these two pictures right here, these really opened up the door for more possibilities because now it looks like Jay, he's done with the bloodline from his stories and he got some smoke with Roman. Now, this whole thing, this whole bloodline thing really started to kick off with Jay. So we're coming full circle here, which I'm loving. They have added an extra layer to a fantastic story. Now, what's going to happen with the tag titles? I know a lot of us were speculating. Sami Zayn being the one, put myself back on the screen. Sami Zayn being the one to ultimately uh, team up with Kevin Owens. And go for the tag titles at WrestleMania. But what happened last night and how he got destroyed, I don't think anyone is really clamoring for him to be the tag ch champ. I think you gotta go for the Universal Championship. Now, I wanna bring up another image. Cody Rhodes posted this on his story. He wants to get the WWE championship but the winged eagle belt which i love and if you know anything about cody rhodes cody rhodes before he went to aew he was the guy that brought back the intercontinental championship with the white strap so it seems like cody has one goal in mind and it's not the universal championship it's the wwe championship the championship that his father was never able to get the championship that he said on his promo when he came back to WWE, that's the championship he wants to get so he can, you know, really, I guess, complete that, the American dream, the, the Rhodes family dream of someone in that family being the WWE champion. And I'm all for that. And I think that could be an interesting way to split the belts off of Roman. One of the ideas I came up with in my head on Monday Night Raw, Cody, you know, maybe starts off the show. He's the Royal Rumble winner, right? He make it very simple. 
There's only one championship I won. There's only one championship I came back for. There's one championship that's eluded my family. It's the WWE Championship. That is the championship I want to face Roman for at WrestleMania. There you go. So now, if they can set it up that way, he did win the Royal Rumble, that be the match. That can be the match for one of the nights. Now it leaves you with the Universal Championship. Who's going to be the person to face Roman for that? And I know people are speculating, maybe Jay goes get The Rock. I don't think The Rock needs to be added in this storyline, especially with Roman as the champ. I've always said the championships didn't need to be on the line. The Rock and Roman, that can happen without any titles on the line. Because I think a lot of us can agree The Rock winning or The Rock coming back would probably be like his last match. It would be a big profile match. And I think it would be a situation where Roman Reigns would get will put uh will be put over because you don't need the rock to win he's already solidified he's the rock so he can take that loss to someone to elevate roman reigns so i think that's something that can happen honestly you can put that match on at SummerSlam. it doesn't even have to happen at the uh at this year's wrestlemania so i think the storyline is just fine the way it is you don't really need to add any extra players into it wrestlemania is already sold out for night one and night two so it's they can't oversell out it's already there so i think you can have that match later down the line if it does happen if it doesn't it is what it is but there's nobody else on the roster that makes sense at this moment right now to be the one to take down roman reigns other than Sami Zayn for the universal championship now another situation that i've been trying to figure out how can they do this correctly is what you're going to do with Kevin Owens. You know Kevin Owens is going to try to get revenge. He got destroyed last night. So, what do you do with them? Does Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn make a pact to find a way to keep dismantling the bloodline? Or is Jay Uso going to be the person that increases that catalyst for the breaking of the bloodline? Say, for example, they set up a match with Jay and Roman Reigns once again. And Roman Reigns, the heel Roman Reigns, not the cool Roman Reigns that people like to put the ones up. The Roman Reigns we got last night where the crowd was chanting F you. 51,000 people are chanting F you Roman. That was beautiful. That's the heel Roman we need. Maybe they have a match, him and Jay, and it gets to the point where even Jimmy's like, I can't rock with this. Maybe that could be a situation. Maybe they end up losing the tag titles to a completely different team, but they're not associated with the bloodline like that entity anymore. So the only person you'll have left is Solo. Solo will be the only person left, I think, standing in Roman's corner. And even then, finally, he departs. So I think there's a way to do this, but I, I, I know for a fact, I've been seeing it all on social media for the past 24 hours. Sami Zayn needs to be the guy to beat Roman Reigns now. This is giving me Daniel Bryan versus the Authority vibes. You guys remember how long that storyline was playing out. You guys remember how everyone wanted him at that time to be the guy to be the champ. And I think we got that now here. These moments happen very rarely. Where someone organically gets over to the point where you can't deny him. You got to put him in that match. If I'm Triple H, I'm, if I'm part of the creative team, the road has to end with Sami Zayn, in my opinion, in a lot of people's opinions, being the universal champ. That way you can split the belts. Now, you also have to take into consideration, are they going to let Roman lose? Night one and two. Because night one, I can see Cody being the one to face Roman. And then Cody wins, right? Night two would kind of be really predictable in a sense because now it's like, well, we know Sammy needs to be the one to get the job done if they do go with that booking. And would they be okay with letting Roman lose twice, you know, back to back? I don't know. So it will be interesting to see how they play out with that. But ultimately, I think you pull the audible. You pull the trigger and you do this. And what better way to do this 
the Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber is right around the corner. Elimination Chamber is supposedly going to be in Sami Zayn's backyard. It writes itself. You already know that crowd is going to go crazy for Sami. You already know they're going to be behind him. And I think you do it. You pull the trigger. Unless you tease it and you find another way to get Sami Zayn into the match, I think it just makes sense for Sami to win the Elimination Chamber. You have him be in that match. That's just my opinion. Because he, he's that over. So, I don't know. This is this is a very interesting time for us wrestling fans. WrestleMania season is looking to be pretty good. And this Bloodline story, this whole situation with Sami Zayn, I think it needs to culminate at WrestleMania. And there's only one way this makes sense. Sami Zayn defeating Roman Reigns and becoming the new Universal Champion. That's just... That's just my opinion. So, comment down below. Let me know. Let's start a discussion. I love the discussions we've been having on the past few videos as of late about this whole bloodline situation. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think that Sami Zayn should be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship at this year's WrestleMania? Do you guys feel like it has to happen now? There's nobody else? Or do you think it should be Cody? that takes both the titles let me know like i, I really want to get y'all opinion on this because i love these discussions um me personally y'all know how i feel it has to be sam because there's nobody else that makes sense to take the universal championships off him roman needs to split those belts they need to one needs to be on raw one needs to be on smackdown so we can get rid of this undisputed unified not unified situation you know so let me know down below what y'all think about Sammy finally being the one to take down Roman Reigns for that Universal Championship. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel this weekend and just in general. Appreciate y'all, you know, just really being that 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 force that keeps me going with these videos man you guys have made this weekend amazing and i'm looking forward to seeing how things play out for elimination chamber but road to 150k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see you on the next one peace